Hello guys, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another SQL inquiry questions. So this is a bit complex compared to regular one. So first try to understand the input as well as what is the expectation of the output. So the input table is nothing but it's a matches table. Okay, a lot of people are seeing international create matches, right? Now you can see team A, team B, and what is the result. So in team A, you have seen, you, you can see here, India as well as Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, okay? Here, overall four teams are playing, okay? Four teams are playing, and as well as, you know, each one is playing three times. By calculating this, each one is playing three times. Now you can see three times. And if you see, right, how many India won here? To India one, okay. To India one, and how many, how many matches Sri Lanka one? You can see here Sri Lanka one, one match, okay. And how many Pakistan one? Pakistan also won one. And how many Bangladesh one? Bangladesh also wants one. But what about this null? Null means it's kind of you know. Null means straight away we can say it is a match is tied. So we can consider. India, Sri Lanka, match tied. Okay, you can see one, one here. And if if Bangladesh is one, only once, okay, there is no time matches, then obviously how many matches they are going to lose? They are going to lose two matches. And at the same time, Pakistan also, Sri Lanka also lost one because they won one and one tied and one lost. So this is the output which they are expecting. So what they are expecting here as part of their output, First is they wanted to get the team names and as well as each team how, how many matches they have played and as well as how many wins happened, how many ties are there and as well as how many losses are there. Now how can we approach this solution? Okay, how can we write this particular thing? Okay, if you wanted to try it out your own, pause, pause the video here and then try it out your own. Okay, first thing here. We are not going to go with the, any subquery or anything. Directly we jump into CTEs. First thing, what we are going to do. First thing, what we are going to do. How can we approach? So I have already prepared the SQL for this. Okay, you can see here, I have inserted the data. Data is available here in the table. Now, how can we approach the solution? Okay, so simple thing, right? First is you wanted to get first Question is, you wanted to get each team, okay, each team, how many matches they have played. Okay, they have played. This is the question. How can we do that? Simply, simply by adding team A and team B. Team A and team B. Okay, team A and team B. If you can add together and if you do group by, okay, group by count automatically, you are going to get the, you are going to get the, what you are going to get, you are going to get each team, how many, how many matches they have played. Okay. Each team, how many matches they have played. It's very simple. Now, how can we do that? In a simpler way, select, start, select, okay, select team A, okay, team B. I'll, I'll first, I'll provide you the individual solutions for each one. Then after that, after that, we'll go with the, after that, we'll go with the simply team A. As the okay, as the okay, from from which table matches table okay, from matches table now union of okay, union of select team A okay, team B as team okay, team from matches okay, matches now, now if you do this, okay, what it is going to happen. Just I'll show you this high level, then we'll concatenate everything in the subquery. Now you are getting the here as this. Now what you can do on top of it, just you can write a simple inline view. Okay, simple inline view. What you can write it up? Select count of staff. Okay, select team. Okay, count of staff. Okay, count of staff from from where from this inline view. Way now, what you have to do group by group by what team simply you can write it up this. Now you will be able to see team as well as how many matches they have played. This is the first solution, nothing but how many matches they have played. 
how many matches they have played. Now, now second thing, second thing, how can you approach for the second thing? How can you get the how can you get the ties? Okay, ties down. How can you do that? How can you do that, guys? In a simpler way. Okay, select. Okay, select. What you are going to do? Using select. Okay, select team A. Okay, team A. And then count of star. Okay, count of star. From, from where you are going to get? Matches. Okay, matches. Where clause, what you have to use? What we have to use? Where result is, where result is null. Am I right? Where result is null and group by group by what? Group by team. Okay. If you do this, okay, if you do this, let's see, let's see what it is going to happen. Then we'll we'll take it up India. India one. Now, if India any match is happening, if it is tied, okay, how many teams it is going to impact? It is going to impact two teams. Now, what you have to do? You have to go ahead and you have to do union or select team B. Okay, team B and count of star. Count of star from matches. Okay, team B also you have to count it, right? Matches. Okay, then, then where the result is null. Because the result is null, right? If both the teams, it is going to see null. And group by team B. Team B. Okay, group by team B. Now, if you can calculate this, what it is going to happen? You can see India 1, Sri Lanka 1, you are going to see. You are going to see. Now, tie is done. Tie part is done. Okay, how can we get that tie stone? Now, what is the next thing which you have? What is the next thing which you have? You have to have, okay, wins count. Okay, wins count as well as losses count. Loss count. Okay, last one. How can we perform this? How can we perform this? Now, if you wanted to perform wins and loses, right? Straight away, you cannot perform. You cannot perform. Reason behind it, okay? Reason behind it, okay? Whenever you wanted to get the result, right? Whenever you wanted to get the result, first thing is you have to, you have to, you have to combine, combine, combine the, combine the, combine both the data. Okay, both the data. Here also you have to combine both the data. Okay, here you have to combine the, both the data. Then only combine both the data. Then only you will be able to get the winner loses count. How can we do that? First, okay, first what we are going to do, First, we'll write it up one simple CD. Okay, simple CD. If you wanted to write it up CD, how can we do that? How can we do that? Guys, how can we do that? So, what is the what is the starting which you have to use? You have to use the with class. With class matches results. Okay, you can write it up matches results. Okay, as as. Now you can open the, now you can open the bracket. Now you can open the bracket. Now what you have to do, whatever you have written here, okay, whatever you have written here, you can write it up here. Okay, simply whatever you have written, first thing is you have to write it up here. Okay, how can you write it up? Just simply you can write it up. But here I'm going to add even result as well. Result as well because you wanted to get this as part of the as part of the as part of further wins count as well as lose count that is the reason we have to add this particular thing as well now what is the thing which you have to add next thing okay what is the next thing which you have to add you have to add one more thing what is that you have to add even wins count wins count if you wanted to do that right if you wanted to do that, just I'm going to run, I'm going to write another wins. Okay, wins another CT, which I'm another within the CT. I'm going to write one more, one more output. Okay, what is that output? 
So here, what you have to do, you have to go ahead and you have to do. See, what is the thing which you have to check it out? Whenever, if you are winning, okay, if you are winning, okay, try to go back to here. If you are winning, okay, India, the result also India. So, which means this, this output, whatever you are saying, right? This one, this one should be same. This one and this one. Okay, the match here, if you see, right? The team name and result name should be same. The, then, then we have to give that particular condition, right? How can we give that particular condition? Very simple. Okay. Select. Okay. Select what you wanted to. You wanted to count it, right? You wanted to count it. Then what you are going to mention? Team. Team. Okay. Team. Then what do you, what you want? You want count. Okay. You want count here. So here from. Okay. From where you are fetching this? From here you are fetching this. Because this particular thing of okay, team name, which you are getting from here, team as well as result also you are getting from this CTE, this CTE. Now match results. Now, what is the next thing we have to do? Using the where clause, where, where clause, what you are going to do, team equals to result, team equals to result, group by, group by team. So once you do this particular activity, once you do this particular activity, what you are going to get, you are going to get the, you are going to get the P, okay, along with the, along with the count. So when I am mentioning this particular thing, what did, what does it mean? Here, this P equals to this, which means these guys are the winners. These guys are the winners. Now you have done wins part, okay. Now what about the, what about the ties? Ties part I have already mentioned here. Now, what you can do, simply you can create one more within the CTE, you can write one more thing, okay, that is nothing but a one more here, how you have written win, same way, you can write it up here, here, you can write it up as, here you can write it up as ties, okay, ties, and when you are writing here, what you have to do, you have to do this. Now, what is the thing which you have to copy paste? Simply, you can copy paste this particular part. Okay, this particular part. Now, what you are going to get? You are going to get the. You are going to get the. You are going to get the. What is the count? You are going to get the count. What is the count? Ties count. Ties count. Okay. Now, next thing is. Next thing is. What you have? What you want? What you want? Loss. Okay. Loss. Loss. Nothing but a here. Loss. As. Okay. What you are going to write it up. What you are going to write it up. Here you are going to write it up. Whenever you are writing. Right. Same thing. Whatever you have. Winning part. Right. Same code you can copy paste. Same code you can copy paste. Now what you can do here. Very simple. Okay. Team count. Okay. And here matches results. Now when you are mentioning. When you are. Winning automatically team equals to result, it is going to be passed. When you are when you are given team equals to result, okay. When you are giving this, it is going to be win. But if you do if you wanted to see loss, team not equals to result. And other than that, you have to mention that the result is not null. Because when you are doing that, right? When you are doing that, by default, it takes as a it takes even null value also, which is considered because in the in the ties we have a null value. So that is the reason I'm giving it here. Result is not null. You have to mention this. You have to mention this. Now everywhere I'm giving a count. Everywhere I'm giving a count. But does count is having some 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 name here? No, right? So what I'm doing as okay as I'm mentioning as a alias column names. Okay. Wins column. Okay. And as well as here also, I'm mentioning here. Okay. As ties count. Okay. Ties count. Okay. Next thing is, okay, here I'm mentioning as a as loss count. Loss count. Now, what is the next thing which you have to achieve it? What is the next thing which you have to achieve it? 
very simple thing you are going to achieve it okay what is the thing which you are going to achieve it so you have done everything you have done everything now what is the next thing which you have to do so when you are mentioning ties down right if you mention only one place one place what it is going to happen so here it is a mistake. what is the mistake see here here if you observe here you have to mention both the places both the places whenever you do union all it has to have a same name okay now you can see this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing that now now okay now what is the next thing which you are going to do whenever you have a cpv right you have written all the things now next thing you have to use them as part of the select clause as part of the select clause select clause how can you utilize okay first thing is what do you want what do you want first question is m dot t okay there is a what is that here you can see okay here you can see this is the match results okay first thing is how many tables we have created as part of the output first these okay first first cte will take it up match results okay from match results we can keep it as an m now next thing is we'll use the left out of gen. okay we'll use the left out of gen. what is the next thing which we have wins okay wins we have then what we can say wins w okay we'll keep it as a w on what basis you are going to do on what basis you are going to do m dot t equals to m dot t equals to w dot t okay this is the joining condition now next thing is what is the next table which you have created as part of the on the fly on the fly you have created ties okay ties you have created now again left order join okay left order join ties which is going to be ties which is going to be part of it okay what we can mention on on what basis we are mentioning this okay ties so what basis you are using the left order joint so you can give it m dot t m dot t equals to t dot t okay because m dot t is the driver table okay again left order joint left order joint okay left order joint again what do you want what do you want you want loss also so you are going ahead and you are going to take this loss L mean L Callias table name on okay on what basis you are going to take M dot T name M dot T equals to L dot T okay L dot T okay L dot T now you have you have joined all the tables now what what is the expectation you have made as part of this now what is the expectation overall just you have given so overall matches how many matches played each team okay that is the that is the thing okay how many matches how many losers how many other things now if you wanted to get how many matches first thing what you wanted to get m dot t okay nothing but a from from first table you wanted to get m dot m dot t okay from here let me keep it down then you understand here okay now you can see here matched of matches results from here what you are getting you are getting the m dot t okay m dot t nothing but it, this particular thing will come now what do you want here you want count okay you want count how many matches played okay as nothing but it, matches played okay this is clear now this is the thing which you are able to execute it okay let's see let's see let's execute this okay let's execute this now whenever you are using aggregate function what is the next thing which you have to do you have to go with that you have to use the group by group by what what basis m dot t okay m dot t let's execute this any syntactical errors are there we'll check it out because it is a bigger thing right so let's try it out this You don't be missed. Yeah, that is the that is the issue. Okay. As team. I told you right, it is a bigger thing. Okay. We have to go ahead and we have to take it up each one each one properly. That is the reason I wanted to run before executing further. 
now you can see here now you can see the output output you can see here okay this is the three overall how many matches like each one now now what is the next thing you want it you want it okay how many wins how many losers now when you are doing right when you are doing first what is the thing which you wanted to get it from from wings what is the thing which you wanted to get it wings count okay nothing but it here what you are going to get w dot okay w dot w dot what is that wins count okay wins count now now okay try to show you whenever you are using here you have to group by right obviously you have to use that as okay wins count w dot wins count but here couple of things which we have to apply it start missing Correct to narrate the spelling and everything. When it's gone. Let's see here. Mixing expression. What is missing here? But it's my bad man. Sometimes. So here you can see. Here you can see. Now you got the win score. Okay. Now you got the win score. Now, same thing. If you wanted to get, if you wanted to get loss also. Okay. Now ties also. What you can do? T dot. T dot. What is the name? What is the name? What is the name? Ties from. Okay. Ties from here. Okay. Now at the same time, I don't want to take more time. So here you can take the, you can take the loss count as well loss count as well okay what is the what is the t here l l dot count okay l dot count now now you whatever you have written in here same thing it should go to it should go to here as well. it should go to in the group by clause because whenever you are using aggregate function it has to go that now you can write it out this now you can see these are the these are the things which you are getting. But if you see right, if you see here, you are getting the null values. To avoid the null values, what you can do? Simply you can use the NVR function. NVR. Okay. NVR. What it does? It is going to replace the null value. It is going to replace the null value. Okay. As as what is the thing? Loss. Loss form. Okay, here also you can mention that in real. Okay. In real. As. As. Dice. Okay. Dice. So, this is the way you have to execute it. You have to execute it. Simple. And it's that zero that it will be yeah. Now you can see this is the way it has to it has to go. Now you see right Pakistan. Okay, three matches they won one and they lost three. Sri Lanka they lost three. And if you wanted to order by simply you can use the order by m dot t. Okay, m dot t. So that what it is going to happen, the output also which is going to come. As expected, as based on the alphabetical order. Now you can you can see here, you can see here Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. And now whatever you are seeing here, one two one one in wins. Same thing you can see here one two one one. And at the same time, ties also zero one one. Okay, zero zero one zero one. And when it comes to loss count, you can see here. 2021. This is the way you have to solve this particular thing. You have to solve this particular thing. So simply using CTEs, first thing you are going to get the all the teams, 
as well as all the teams by combining the team A, team B, and by making as a single limb that is B. And result also you have to keep it. And wins part, once you got this, that whatever the output which you are using, whatever the output which is coming from this matches results, right? We are going to use that particular table name here. Okay, on the fly, it is going to execute this. First, it is going to execute. Then this resultant output, temporary result, which is going to come here. So same thing we are using here. I'm getting the team and context. Whenever you are seeing team equals to result, nothing but a when the team name as equals to result name, which means that team is going to be win. That particular thing I'm using the group by. And at the same time, ties. Ties, we cannot go with the temporary result. We can go with the existing one. Existing table. See here, I'm doing the team A, team A and team B. Okay. Team A, first I'm counting where is the null. Result is null. That particular thing I'm counting both the sides. And I'm combining here using union of. And last part, I'm using the count of star loss count and where team is not equals to result as well as result is not null then only we can see this particular thing this is the way we have to answer and why i am using left order join because i don't want to go with that because left order join is the right approach because irrespective of matching or not matching this result should be present that is the reason i'm using that this particular thing this is the way you have to solve this particular thing okay thank you guys have a great day and as well as please share and subscribe the channel okay going further these questions will be posted in another playlist please go ahead and watch this thank you guys